Have you ever wondered if humans were around 1 billion years ago? First things first, the short answer is no. Humans did not exist 1 billion years ago. In fact, the story of human existence is just a tiny blip in the grand timeline of our planet. But understanding why that is involves some pretty cool science. Around 1 billion years ago, Earth looked very different. No plants, no animals, and certainly no humans. The atmosphere was different too, with far less oxygen than we have now. Fast forward to about 600 million years ago. This is when things start to get interesting. We see the first multicellular life forms beginning to emerge. This period, known as the Ediacaran, marks the dawn of complex life. But even then, we're talking about simple creatures like sponges and jellyfish, still no sign of humans. It wasn't until about 500 million years ago during the Cambrian explosion that life really started to diversify. Our species evolved in Africa, gradually developing complex tools, language, and culture. The oldest evidence of humans dates back to approximately 2.8 million years ago. This evidence includes fossilized remains and stone tools found in Africa. These early humans, known as hominins, were the ancestors of modern humans and exhibited significant evolutionary changes over time. As we continue our journey through time, one question stands out. Who was the first human? Scientists believe that the first humans, known as Homo sapiens, appeared around 300,000 years ago in Africa. These early humans were hunter-gatherers, living in small groups and relying on their environment for survival. If the early human was a single individual, how did reproduction occur? To understand this, we must first clarify that the emergence of Homo sapiens was not the result of a single individual, but rather a gradual process involving many individuals over thousands of years. But how did the first humans discover how to reproduce? Reproduction is a fundamental aspect of life and crucial for the survival of any species, including our own. Biologically, early humans, like all living organisms, were driven by instinct. The urge to reproduce is deeply ingrained in the DNA of all species, ensuring that life continues generation after generation. For early humans, this instinct was no different. Their bodies were naturally equipped with the mechanisms for reproduction, and the drive to mate and produce offspring would have been a powerful force. However, instinct alone was not enough. Early humans also learned through observation. By watching other animals, they could see the processes of mating, birth, and parenting. These observations provided valuable insights into the natural world and their place within it. They saw how animals paired, how mothers cared for their young, and how groups protected and nurtured their offspring. Early human communities were small, interconnected groups where cooperation was essential for survival. Within these groups, social bonds and pair bonding began to form, leading to the establishment of family units. These units provided a framework for raising children, sharing resources, and passing down knowledge and skills. Where do scientists think humans came from? Modern humans, or Homo sapiens, are believed to have evolved from earlier hominins in Africa. This theory, known as the Out of Africa Hypothesis, suggests that our ancestors first appeared on the African continent around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. This region, rich in biodiversity and varying landscapes, provided the perfect environment for early human evolution. Notable finds, such as the remains of early hominins like Australopithecus afarensis, famously represented by the skeleton known as Lucy, offer invaluable insights. These fossils, discovered in East Africa, date back over 3 million years and highlight the gradual anatomical changes leading to modern humans. Genetic studies have also revolutionized our understanding of human origins. By analyzing DNA from ancient remains and comparing it to modern humans, scientists have traced our lineage back to common ancestors shared with other hominins, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans. The migration patterns of early humans are another key aspect of our origin story. As climate and environmental conditions changed, our ancestors ventured out of Africa, spreading across the globe. This dispersal led to the diverse populations we see today, each adapting to their unique surroundings while retaining a shared genetic heritage. Furthermore, the development of tools, language, and culture played a significant role in shaping early human societies. Language facilitated communication, 
cooperation, and the transfer of knowledge across generations. Cultural practices, such as art and rituals, fostered social cohesion and a sense of identity. What will humans look like in the year 3000? Some scientists believe that humans will continue to evolve physically, adapting to new environments and challenges. For instance, with the increasing prevalence of technology, our bodies might undergo changes to better integrate with digital interfaces. Imagine a future where our eyes are enhanced to see in low light or even across different spectrums, or where our fingers are more dexterous to interact with advanced touchscreens and virtual environments. On the other hand, technological advancements may play a more direct role in shaping our evolution. The concept of merging biology with technology, often referred to as transhumanism, suggests that we might enhance our physical and cognitive abilities through implants, genetic modifications, and even artificial intelligence. This could mean anything from increased longevity to enhanced mental capabilities and physical strength. Moreover, the future of human evolution might not just be about physical changes. How will humans look in 10,000 years? Some predict that we may develop new physical traits, such as larger brains or enhanced sensory abilities. Imagine a future where our cognitive capacity is significantly expanded, allowing us to process information at unprecedented speeds. Enhanced sensory abilities could mean improved vision, hearing, and even new senses altogether, enabling us to interact with our world in ways we can't yet fathom. Others suggest that genetic engineering and cybernetic enhancements could play a significant role in shaping our future appearance. The merging of biology with technology might lead to humans with integrated cybernetic limbs, organs, and even neural interfaces. This could drastically alter our physical form and capabilities, making us more resilient and adaptable to diverse environments, including outer space. Regardless of the specifics, it is clear that the humans of 10,000 years from now will be quite different from those of today. The journey of human evolution is far from over, and the future holds endless possibilities. But will humans evolve again? Experts suggest that the future of human evolution will be a complex interplay of natural and artificial influences. Genetic engineering, for instance, could enable us to eliminate hereditary diseases, enhance physical and mental capabilities, and even extend our lifespans. Imagine a world where genetic modifications allow us to adapt to extreme climates or environments, potentially making life on other planets a reality. Environmental changes will also play a crucial role. As our planet continues to face challenges like climate change, humans may naturally adapt to new conditions. This adaptation could manifest in physical changes, such as increased tolerance to heat or cold, or even biochemical alterations that help us survive in polluted environments. Technological advancements are another significant factor. The integration of technology into our biology through cybernetic enhancements and neural interfaces could redefine what it means to be human. These enhancements might not only improve our physical abilities, but also expand our cognitive functions, leading to a new era of human-machine symbiosis. The societal and cultural shifts of the future will undoubtedly influence this evolution. As we grow more interconnected globally, our social structures, values, and lifestyles will continue to evolve, shaping the way we interact with one another and our environment. Will humans ever go extinct? Natural disasters have always posed a significant threat to life on Earth. Catastrophic events like supervolcano eruptions, asteroid impacts, and massive earthquakes could disrupt our civilization and potentially lead to extinction. These events, though rare, remind us of our vulnerability on this planet. Pandemics are another perilous risk. The recent global health crisis has shown us how quickly a virus can spread, affecting millions of lives. Future pandemics, perhaps even more deadly, could sweep across the globe, challenging our medical advancements and societal structures. Human-induced changes to the environment also play a critical role. Climate change, deforestation, and pollution are pushing our planet to its limits. As we continue to exploit natural resources and alter ecosystems, we may be setting ourselves up for catastrophic consequences. The loss of biodiversity and the destabilization of ecosystems could make Earth less habitable for humans. In conclusion, while humans did not exist one billion years ago, our journey through time has been nothing short of extraordinary. 
From the earliest evidence of our ancestors to the mysteries of our future evolution, the story of humanity is one of constant discovery and adaptation. As we've navigated through the epics, we've unearthed the secrets of our beginnings, understood the complexities of our existence, and pondered the possibilities of our future.